How hard is it to follow my simple instructions? Uh oh. Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are playing a game called I Forgot. Yep, play on words. <laughs> but um, the reason why this one seems very interesting to me is because it seems to use a concept of elaborating you, in, well, pulling you into a very friendly game just to ruse you. A little bit like Amanda Dunn or Bonnie Dunn. And let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> this is strange. This is very strange. So the part behind my head, which you guys can't see, I will I'll bring over. There we go. Okay, so a notable member of the amphibian group, frogs are primarily carnivorous eating things from insects. So it seems it's going to very elaborate lengths to tell you that they are harmless. Uh, diverse in their distribution, frog species can be found in tropical to subarctic areas of the world. And outer space. Me. That's strange. <laughs> As with all other amphibians, frogs are cold-blooded, which means they can't regulate their, uh, their body temperature, are off the chain. <laughs> So yeah, he seems to be trying to convince me that he's a, a good frog. Okay. This is strange. This is already very strange. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get into it. Okay. Hey! What the fuck is that? Are you going to sit here all day? I don't know. I can't. Okay, apparently I can move. Well, whatever floats your goat. It's the it's boat. <gasps> Bro, what was that? Uh, I wonder if our neighbor Crazy Dave microwaved his phone again. Should probably go check it out. But don't forget, you got to use was to walk around and keep an eye on your crosses. When it lights up red, you can use E to interact with you stuff. Come back and tell me what happened after you find out. What? Santiago. Hey, go check out that noise. I think it came from upstairs. Well, you just told me to go my crazy Dave. What the fuck is going on here, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? I love this, like... <laughs> I don't understand this already. <laughs> hey! You! You're finally awake! Uh, talking frog? What happened to my room? Is that a Skyrim reference? Seriously? Sorry, I gotta do it. Shh! That's not important. I know what I look like, but I'm not actually a frog. I'm all powerful wizard. My name's Diego. But I don't remember how I turned into a frog. Like amnesia or something. Basically, I forgot. Kill me. Is that a frog pun? Start from the beginning. Tell me everything you remember. No, really. Was that a Skyrim ref? I saw. I gotta do it. If I said no, would you believe me? No. Yikes. So, anyways. Like, five minutes ago, I was a cool wizard. But then I messed up a spell I was casting. And I guess I turned into a frog. In your house. I have zero memories of what happened. 
and zero idea how to fix this. Can you help me out here? No. Hmm. Little bit of a frog magic and... Poof! Let me try this one more time. Will you help me now? I knew you'd come around, bro. Since I need to get back to my human form, do you happen to know anything about transformation potions? <laughs> Absolutely not. I will mess this up big time if you make me help. Perfect. I'll have you whip me uh, something up. Even though I don't remember what I need exactly. I do remember some of the ingredients vaguely. For example, the first ingredient is something sweet. I literally just told you not to trust me. Awesome! You need to go around your house and find me ingredients. Bring them back here to my cauldron when you're ready. So what are you waiting for? Go find me something sweet. You better hop to it! Oh my god! Is this actually happening? Like, is this actually... Ha! Ah. So, the items are lit up. I would presume. So we got donut. I wanna- I wanna fuck this up in every single possible way. So, if they give us an option that is... Okay, that's a slice of cake. These are all too sweet for me, bruh. I'm just saying. Cupcake. Okay, I want to speak to you. Talk to you. There's a frog in our house. He said he's forgot how he got here. Man, that's the lamest pun I've ever heard. I know. It'd be so lame if you if some dev based the whole game of I, was, <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even read that, but I knew what he said. <laughs> oh, jeez, I love this. Like this is ridiculous. Like this is really ridiculous. How good this is, <laughs> and I haven't even played the full game yet. It's just the fact like the dialogue is brilliant, everything is brilliant. Like the meta is brilliant. That must have been the correct ingredients. Look. My magic's already coming back! Heck yeah, what's next buddy? It was hard not to eat that though. Hey, why was the magic's glowing? <laughs> because I used my frog magic to help out! Of? Oh sick, that checks out. I thought you didn't remember anything. How would you know what to enchant? Yeah, you dick. You think I'm stupid? So, anyway, I need you to bring me something cold. Like now. And stop asking so many questions. Kids, am I right? I, I, yeah, again, I'm an old man. I don't know, I don't know slang, bruh. So I'm feeling like whatever we do, this is kind of an Amanda situation because... Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I love that. I gotta do it. I'm oh, sorry. A photo of my ex. Is that a potato? Is that a potato with eyes? Like, I can barely see it, but it looks like a potato with eyes. Uh, I'm scared to ask, but... What was that? My ex, lol. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Regardless. That seemed to have worked. Not gonna question it. <laughs> Just gonna move on. Next. I need something electronic. You know, where to find me? Bro, the sense of humor in this game is absolutely brilliant, I'm just saying. Bruh, who's gonna, like, firstly, right, I know two of these things already. I'm not gonna give him my fucking PC setup. Who the fuck do you think you are, bruh? And I'm not gonna give him my fucking 50-inch TV. Go fuck yourself. Yes. Yes. Yes, I thought we couldn't, I thought we couldn't do this shit. I thought we couldn't reject him, but I'm good with this. Let's go. You can fuck right off, think I Hey! What did I say about messing up my potion? To not? Better question, what on earth is happening right now? Just normal potion making side effects? 
the fumes and stuff? Yeah. We only need two more ingredients. Go fetch me something green. Or else. Or else. Bruh. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh my god, no, you may not use me. Thank you for asking. <laughs> and why the fuck am I going to use the bird? I'm not that rude. I'm sorry. I like Santiago. Santiago's a good dude, you know? Like, I like him. I'm not going to use him. Like, even if it's going to if it's to betray this dickhead, I'm not going to use him. Dude, I love Piers. How did you know? I definitely don't feel good. What is going on? Uh, you've got to be my most favorite human I've ever tricked. I mean, spent time with before. Out of all of them, you're definitely my favorite. Yeah. <sighs> Did you say tricked? What's going on here? This has happened before. All I need is one last ingredient. I need drum rolls, please. Something sharp. Don't worry about why. It's for the potion. Just bring me back something sharp and this will all be over soon. No. Nah, bro. I'm not stupid. You got no fucking chance, babe. You got no. I think it said I could take a piece of toast, so let's go take a toast. No. Bread. Yeah, bruh. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit special. I don't know what sharp means, bruh. Sorry. <laughs> huh? No. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> You've mu you must have messed up the potion somewhere and turned yourself into a frog too. Why didn't you just follow my directions? Well, that's fucking great then, isn't it, bruh? I'm just saying. I forgot! Well, that was something. <laughs> Sorry about the ending, guys. My, uh, my boy started calling me at the worst possible time. But, uh, yeah. So there's three endings. I actually really love this. I'm going back in, you know? I'm fucking going back in for that one. <laughs> Okay, so, hey, you're finally awake. Hold on. I'm getting serious deja vu. Oh, really? Cool. I don't need to explain this to you, then. Grab me something, sweet, and we can get a move on. Hmm. That I did not expect. Bro, this game is... This game is something. I, I genuinely think this is going to be the next big, big thing. Like, you got Amanda and shit like that. This is going to be the next one of those. I can guarantee you, bro. I will get our aim here, right? Yeah, I, I don't... I want to survive. But let's just go with the ending where we actually listen to him. How about that? See what that brings. Because obviously we're going to die. He seems to want to kill us. That must have been the correct ingredient. Look, my magic's already coming back. Heck yeah! What's next, buddy? I think I need something cold. I'll be here when you find it. Okay! Well, ice seems about correct. When you say cold, that seems about the most accurate thing to cold. Wow! Look at you go! I didn't expect you to be so obedient! Just trying to do the right thing! Shit, I didn't mean to that. Wonderful enthusiasm. Next, I need something electronic. Okay. You know where to find me when you're done. Okay. I know what's electronic and I can give you my thousand pound PC setup. Yeah. Here we go, buddy. A whole PC for me? With a 4080 nonetheless. Oh my god, that must have been so expensive. <laughs> It's been more than a thousand. Ah! For you, definitely worth it. Stop, you're gonna make me blush. With that, 
We only need two more ingredients. I'm gonna miss you after you're gone. Gone like when this is finished. Not like dead gone. That would be crazy. Lol. <laughs> For this next item, I need something green. Oh, that hurt me. Bro, that hurt me. Like, no one hurt 10, 8, foot of 40, 80. Oh. Why is it going so... It wasn't like this last time, was it? <laughs> Sorry, Santiago, bruh. I really gotta figure out if this is... Like, what this does. Did you just throw your pet into my cauldron? I mean, he was green, wasn't he? You're a scary kid. You know that? Right? All I need is one last ingredient. I need drum rolls, please. Something sharp. Don't worry about why. It's for the potion. Just bring me back something sharp and this will all be over soon. I'm on a massive acid trip, bro. I feel like I'm on an acid trip right now. This is too many colors. This is way too many colors, bro. Sure, buddy. I got a knife for you. If you want the knife. I don't know. This is fucking weird, bro. I'm not lying. It's fucking weird. <laughs> oh man, you made this way too easy for me. Anyway, probably want to brace yourself for the fall. It'd be a shame if my dinner got scuffed up. What? Truth is... The game was rigged from the start. Bro! Shit! Shit! How are we supposed to beat this? Like, how are we supposed to beat this? I'm just saying. Like... I don't know how to do! Like... Uh, like maybe we're supposed to completely go against him but like i know there must have been a couple of sweet things i put in there like and that one's point and uh, correct things somehow we've got to make the option that we actually get every single thing wrong i'm presuming we got the medium and the third ending is the one we really need slice of cake everything's sweet everything in this scenario i feel like this is the introduction after this we kind of gotta like go against him in every possible way so that's what we're gonna do i think that i didn't go up against him every possible way after the cupcake i think i done something right uh that must have been the correct ingredient look my magic's already coming back it was hard not to eat that though <laughs> hey why is the magic slowing because I used my frog's magic to help out of... I thought you did yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... The candle, see? See what I mean? Like, I used the picture just because it was a great pun. But... If we use the candle, what happens then? Hey! What are you doing? That's not cold. Sorry, his accent. I'm an agent of chaos, and let the intrusive thoughts win. Ugh. Since it was your first mistake, it's probably fine. But, don't do that again. Next, I need something electronic. It should be a lot harder for you to mess this one up. Say no more. Say more. I don't know what that says. Yeah, see the lighting changes. Like, it goes different lightings if you're correct or wrong. That's really cool. Hey! What did I say about messing up my potion? Bro, look at the glitching. Better question, what on earth is happening right now? Just normal potion making side effects. The fumes and stuff, yeah? 
We only need two more ingredients. Go fetch me something green. Or else. Bruh. Okay. Bro, I'm scared to see what happens next. I'm just saying. How hard is it to follow my simple instructions? Uh-oh. Where did the exit button go? I'm not even doing nothing. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's too late. All I need is one last ingredient. And all I need... Is something sharp. Don't worry about why. It's for the potion. Just bring me back something sharp and this will all be over soon. Okay? Oh. Everything's scary. I don't like this. Bro, this is that's that's fucked up. Oh. <sighs> I hate this. I fucking hate this. Santiago, are you real? Oh my god. Santiago, are you real? Are you real? Please. Oh my fucking god, what the? Bruh, Santiago. What's your deal, bruh? You don't look so good, buddy. Why don't you lie down? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Toast. Hey! What have you done? You've ruined my potion! I'll show you what happens to those who try to escape. Oh fuck. We're not gonna get out of this. Hey! Where did you go? Oh, I see. You wanna play hide and seek? Okay, well, ready or not. Here I come. I don't like this ending. 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 Like, the shift change, I just want to say, is fucking unbelievable. Watching this go from this, going from what it was to this, that is pretty bloody crazy, I'm just saying. Uh, four more go missing. The count rises to 18 people missing since last April. Harvester Townsfolk has been shrouded in misfortune and their bad luck doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. Last spring, a small laboratory moved into the town. Despite many townsfolk objections, since then people have reported abnormal uh, abnormalities with varying severity. From light flickering to seeing shadow people to even missing uh, people missing, the count has gone from 14 to 18 over the period of the last week. Of the 18 that have disappeared, six have been presumed dead, but zero bodies have been found. Local says Locals say it's as if the people disappeared in their town. Bone saw. Oh, right. Okay, we're supposed to find ingredients. Okay, that's intriguing. So we want the key, right? So we gotta get the saw, which we just found in there. I don't know what... Uh, a jack-in-the-box. Is that a spoon? Okay, jack-in-the-box spoon and something else. Okay. Alright, okay, so this is starting to make sense. This is so fucking cool. I'm just saying. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh 
my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? Bro, what the fuck was that? Oh. What the fuck is that supposed to say? Something is very wrong. I followed his instructions, but... Everything was moving? He asked me for something sharp. I read the spell book. There is no recipe that calls for something sharp. I fear my life is in anger, a danger. And if you're reading this, you are too. Okay. Bro, 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 what the fuck was that? Okay. Uh, ent entity, Remora. Case number, access clearance. So what the fuck? Entity named Remora is a rel relatively harmless entity. It refers to itself as Santiago. So that's our duck. And prefers the company of others' entities. Its appearance is that of a large floating mass of organic when diagnosed, or organics, when diagnosed has been run out on the organic matter. The breakdown come back, comes back as and when it comes to Ramirez's pre preferences on other entities, there are a handful that it has been seen with. However, it overall seems to prefer the company of Entity Dream Eater. The most it escapes its enclosure regularly to voluntary break into Dream Eater's enclosure. It has been noted that Ramirez will insert itself into the minds of Dream Eater's victims. It has the ability to interact but does not appear to harm the victims. While inside the hypnosis, Remora is often given the appearance of a kiwi-coloured kiwi bird. We find this to be because of... So... He works. So he works with... So he likes Dream Eater. That's what we're getting out of this. Okay, bro, this is absolute. Like, this is a this is a dev's first ever game, a first ever game, and this is what he made. I can't believe that. I honestly can't believe that. Bro, what happened? I'm hearing something. Nah, bro. You got no fucking chance. Something's going on out there. Fuck off. Great, here we go. We got Dream Eater. Entity named Dream Eater refers to itself as Diego. Appearance is... It lures victors, victims into the dr a dreamlike state, giving them a false sense of happiness and security. In this state, it should appear to victims as a small frog-like amphibian, sending them on small quests. In reality, it is... If victims should obey Dream Eater, then the de entity can successfully devour the victim's soul and body, leaving no physical trace behind. However, if the victim disobeys Dream Eater, the entity cannot control its rage and will show its true form. To pacify Dream Eater, one has to... Well, why redact that, bro? Contact with Dream Eater is highly limited as this is a Class S entity and should, under no some cir circumstances, be interacted with uh, by unprotected personnel so i'm getting very massive scp vibes from this i'm not gonna lie ladle that's what we needed okay thank god for that okay the beats picked up nothing's happened just the beats picked up Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I should, yeah. I, I thought it might have been a hunter thing, but I, I thought it would have been downstairs, but... Okay, so we got it. Fuck it now, man. That took me a while. My eyes are watering like hell. Right, okay. Final thing. Oh, so we got the... Where do you think you're going? Bruh, just run. 
Just run! What? What? What the motherfuck? Bro, think we got the key! Don't be a dick! Don't be a dick! Get the fucking door open! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's really fucking funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Santiago, right? Go fuck yourself, mate. Fuck you, mate. Wow. No, really, wow. Right? We have played so many first-time devs, right, yeah, and I can tell you, right, yeah, a lot of them kind of just go out and they don't put much effort in and they make a quick five-minute game or whatever, right? For this developer to make something so fucking unique like this and so good, right, is unreal, right, yeah? All I can say, right, yeah, is keep going, dude, because if this is what you're making right now, right, yeah, as your first ever game, I can't wait to see what's next. I really can't. This was absolutely brilliant, right? It had everything, right, yeah? That illusion, right, yeah, that you're in this, playing this happy game, getting slowly turning into something more. I love that. I love that. That's why I play Amanda. That's why I play Bonnie. That's why I play uh, Hungry Lamu. Like, these games are unique and they're interesting because they usually come with a bunch of lore and this one did as well yeah it gave lore about the monsters and everything this was very unique very brilliant and very very well made there isn't one bad thing i can say about it because that it's just that good Right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really would like your feedback on this as well. This is really cool and I loved every single bit of it. Yeah, this nearly took me about an hour, right? But I enjoyed every single bit of it. So, yeah. Apart from that, guys, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified when my videos go up next. Also, please be sure to hit that like button. And yeah, give me a comment. Tell me what you thought of this because I'm sorry, but this was something, something amazing. But yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye.